Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. We hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised. We esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs, carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Jesus was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him, he hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrificial death on the cross. Thank you for coming to this earth to seek and save sinners on their way to hell, to save me. Thank you for suffering for us, and for bearing our burdens and sins on the cross, even though we didn't deserve it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross, not only for my sins, but for the sins of the world. For if it were not for your precious, unique blood, Jesus, shed on the cross, in the power of your resurrection, we would all be destined for eternal, fiery, torment, destruction, separation from you forever in hell. You say in your word that you are not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I ask, Father God, that you would awaken your people, that you would motivate them, Father, to courageously go out and preach the gospel. And may you use people like us to lead multitudes to you, that we may see multitudes saved. All for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.